Hi, welcome back. Today's pet of the week. Her name is Clover, and she is the sweetest little pup <laughs> to introduce us to Clover. I'm going to bring in Shell Green with Hearts Alive Village. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thanks for having us. Okay, Clover already showing off her, yeah. her skills and her beautiful <laughs> face. Tell us about her. So uh, Clover and uh, actually her sister came to us uh, as strays. We brought them over to the shelter uh, to, just in case somebody was looking for them, excuse me. Um, and you know what, they were doing really poorly in the shelter environment. So uh, we got them back at our rescue. They're under a year old, uh, husky, maybe Malamute mix. And, um, ah, thank you. Um, very, very playful, very energetic, very sweet, and very much need a home or at least a foster home so they can get out of the kennels. Okay, and she has these beautiful eyes, one brown, one blue. Is her sister like that too? Yes, her sister is brown though. Um, so if you're looking for a lighter variety, lighter shade, you know, go with her sister. Okay. Uh, her name's Crimson. So and cute. they are not looking to be adopted together. Okay. So it would just be one. Um, we are looking for a home, probably not with little kids. <laughs> uh, because she uh, she can get a little bit mouthy. Okay. And we wouldn't want, want okay. kids to be in danger. And probably an active home. Yes. Okay. Oh yeah, she's going to need to hike and she likes to go for car rides. She was sniffing my, my hair and licking my face as I was driving. So Yes, um, and she's so big already for how young she is. Where is she located right now? You said that she'd be better in a foster home or, yes. or something like that. She is at our clinic. Um, we have a bunch of program animals over there um, just because we have a, a new play yard that we're building and it's a great space for them to run around in and get some exercise but she's still in a kennel you know during the day for for a large part of it and even though it's nice and spacious it's not a good space for this breed and this age okay and i know that you guys are doing some work right now on creating a wonderful place for these dogs can you tell us some more about that yeah so we had up a temporary fence for the first you know six or seven months now we're really getting into our big, beautiful play yard. Um, we're gonna have uh, five spots, two runs for large dogs, three runs for small. We'll have bone-shaped pools in the ground and trees and sandboxes. And it's gonna be a great place for them to play, to train, and really get off that excess energy. Yes, it yeah. sounds like a dream spot for it Clover. Is. Excuse us. Is ready to play, <laughs> ready to jump. How can people get involved? How can they help? Yeah, so we are actually starting our brick campaign for the play yard. So you can go online on our website. You'll see a pop-up, it'll come up. Um, buy a brick, you know, we're paving the way towards a better future for these animals. I love it. Okay, and if someone does want to adopt Clover or her sister or any of the other animals that you have, what's their first step? So first step is to go on our website, heartsalivevillage.org. They can fill out an adoption application for the specific animal. Um, or, oh, there you go, good girl. <laughs> they can also fill out a foster app. If, you know, maybe you don't want it permanently, but you're, you've got room in your home and you'd like to open it up. They just need a couch to crash on and some exercise. <laughs> <laughs> she is ready for those cuddles. Yes. Absolutely adorable. And we'll be posting more of those links for you on our website as well. If you are interested in Clover or her sister or any of the other animals at Hearts Alive Village. And we'll be right back.